Hey, hi everybody. Um, okay, we are live now and welcome to my event and welcome everybody. All right, if you guys are here, you know, say hi. Okay, so let me see whether I can I can get all the comments and everything and see all the reactions. So hey, all right. So here I go. Okay, guys. Um, it's gonna be an interesting night. It's raining. Uh, let me know if you can hear the rain. The there's a fan turned on I have off everything that I can in the room so this will be a typical setup that you have for a bedroom studio I mean to be honest um, if you're living in an apartment no treatment no nothing I guess this is the best you can have before you do sound treatment or sound proving okay so let's skip it interesting all right so what we're gonna do is that uh, right now i'm using a headset microphone so you can hear um you can hear me i guess so the mic is over here and we're gonna go and try out one microphone each all right so i have with me right now um we're gonna review quite a few microphones today so we'll run through a whole series of microphones from the BB-800, which is this guy over here, that costs around 29 US dollars to some of the more expensive stuff in the market, which I would try to reach for it. Uh, right, here you go. Well, we have the Shure SN7B over here, which is like a classic that everybody uses, or most of the successful YouTuber uses. So that's, we're going to review and try everything that I have in the arsenal and let you guys have a listen and see which one do you guys prefer. Alright, so so let's let's take it and go. Just give me a moment. Let me oh no. Okay, so uh totomate kodasai. Alright, so let me bring my exposure back to normal. So just give me a moment. I know it's a bit too dark. Let me lighten it about by a bit. Alright, so now you can see me, you can see the mics and everything is nice and proper. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we will try today, right now while I'm still on my headset, um, is that I would try this guy. So what is this guy? Um, this guy is the... Okay, so this is the most popular... Um, I would say most popular, I would say the most commonly used, uh, the cheapest that you can find in the market. This is the BM800. So let's see how it sounds like. I'm going to mute my mic over here. And oh my gosh. Um, okay. So uh, can you guys kind of hear this mic? Okay, hey, check. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So um, this is the BM800. Um, usually you, you kind of like keep it a bit further away. So let's increase again. All right, guys. I am now using the BM800. This is a 29 US dollars mic. This is a condenser, but it's, it is actually like, you can hear it, right? Yeah, quite boing, <laughs> in a certain sense. So, so this is the BM800, BM800, 29 US dollar in Singapore. We, we can get it at 19 Sing dollars, very cheap. See baby, peanut out outside, cheap until cannot cheap. This is the BM800, the most popular mic that a lot of people are buying to use. But this is the sound of the BM800. Um, if you get it close, um, you kind of like clip the mic. So have a bit of distance. Um, you don't get that much air, but I guess you kind of like... So this is how it sounds like here on my voice. And let's switch over to my headset. Alright guys, um, okay, let me out again by a little bit. Alright, um... Okay, so, so this is my headset mic, and then now I'm going to switch over to the BM. Wow. Okay, um, okay, so very interesting. I guess you can hear the difference in in, in how it sounds like. Um, let me know which one do you guys prefer. Alright, give me a 1 if you prefer the headset, a 2 if you prefer this mic. So this is the BM800. This is a condenser. Condenser means it's very sensitive. You get a lot of the environmental noise and everything, and... and well, I guess this is the BM800, very affordable. And now let's swap to another guy. All 
Okay, let me try to find all my cables. I'm so sorry. There's too many things on my bed, on my table and everything. And yeah, alright. Okay, so here it goes. Check, 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 hey, check, one, two, hey, one, two, okay, am I clipping? Yes, I'm clipping, hey, one, two, hey, one, two, hey, one, two, okay, guys, so right now with me, um, let me remove the sponge, okay, my, let me keep the sponge on, okay, so, um, this guy is a Zoom, um, ZDM1. So this guy is going for 79 US dollars. Actually quite affordable. Well, you know, I actually wanted to do a website view. So let's swap it to the website view and then let's take a look. Okay, so I just shared my screen and now, okay, so let's see. Zoom ZDM1. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Let's see what the specs say. Okay, now we are going to shopping, 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 Amazon, Amazon, BNH. Zoom, uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, let's click. Ah, uh, it's a pack. Okay, but my my. So so wow, you know this guy actually comes with a pack like this. So very interesting. So in Singapore, you know, it's going for how much again? Let's take a look. It's going for hundred and sixty five dollars, and it comes with a headphone too. Very interesting. So um, this is the Zoom. ZDM1. It's actually a large diaphragm dynamic microphone and uh, what do you mean by a large diaphragm? It means the microphone capsule itself is larger than a lot of other diaphragms. I, we can open this out later to take a look. But um, this is what a lot of people use for broadcast. So if you see a radio DJ, most of the time they kind of use something similar to this. Um, it's actually quite good in rejection, I must say. Um, and then um, the good thing but the bad thing about these kind of mics right, is that it's not that sensitive so you have to put it very close to you so you know your blocks kind of blocks your face <laughs> in a certain sense so yeah you know 就是重重重圈型 microphone 就是很大很可爱 然后呢它就会顶住你的脸 如果你要比较小一点比较娇小的话 你可以用这种电容型 microphone 那就不会顶到你的脸 对吧 所以还OK啦,我觉得因为这种类型的麦克风其实还蛮不错的。声音的话呢,我们可以来对比一下,我来做个小型的PK。那这是我的麦克风的声音,Hey Alright, and now this is the BM800, the BM800, um, well, um, let me know which mic do you guys prefer, the BM800, which is this mic over here, BM800, or the mic that I'm using right now, which is my headset mic, and then I'm going to change to this mic, um, let me know which one do you guys prefer, alright, drop the comments, drop me, drop me some comments, yeah? Alright, let me see whether which one you guys prefer. Of course, you know, after we try a mic like this, let's go and up the game by a little bit. Um let's see. Well what's the most the most popular I think home studio condenser have to be the Auto Technica. So let's swap that out. Let's swap the BM eight hundred out for the Auto Technica. Okay, um, apparently the BM800 is more sensitive, so let's up the gain of this guy, and now, okay, we are back, we are back, we are having better gain right now, alright, okay, you like the first one, the BM800, why? Okay, he, okay, guys, um, so this is the Audio Technica AT2020, um, this is the most used, or uh, the most popular starting 
condenser studio mic for you to use in your home. Can you hear any rain? Hey, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to do like mic reviews over right now. I'm just going to compare all the mics that I have in my room and let you guys hear how it sounds like in a very bad environment where there is like rain you know there's a fan next to me that kind of thing let me know whether you can hear the rain let me know whether you can hear the fan and then let's see how it goes all right so this is the auto technica at 2020 uh most popular mic in the market i suppose for beginners so let's see how it sounds like you know compare to another mic like maybe the bm 100 so just give me a moment Wow, check out the BM100. Okay, the BM100 is very, very loud, loud, loud. Okay, and so this is the sound of the BM100. Let's switch and compare to the sound of the AT2020. I'll just put the mic side by side. Okay, okay let's hear this. Alright, very plasticky. And then, um, let me up the gain of this guy. All right. Um. So all right. So this is the eighteen twenty twenty. Okay, it feels more solid, right? Like I mean, like when you, when I'm hitting against this guy, as compared to this one, this is more, yeah, more plasticky, and then this guy is a lot more solid. So this is the eighteen twenty twenty. I I guess you know you can. You can hear a bit of the rain. Uh, let me know whether you can hear the rain. Um, just drop in the comments. All right. Hey. Um, then I will know whether you can hear anything. Okay, so this is the AT2020. Ha, all right, check one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's contest the rejection. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So this is the AT2020 in terms of rejection, and let's try the BME 100. Whoa. All right. Uh, one two three four. One two 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 one two. What rejection does this mic have? This is the <laughs> this is an omnidirectional microphone already, man. Like seriously, okay, like okay, okay. In microphone wise, there's actually direction DVD. Just like when you guys have a lens or have something, you know, um, it actually. Um, a good microphone or a microphone that is um, cardioid or I mean different microphones have different pickup pattern but but to be honest you know they say that this is a cardioid but I don't believe it because a cardioid microphone is not supposed to pick up sound like this okay right now one two 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 I just rotated the mic and then there's no change in my sound so this is very clearly an omnidirectional microphone let's try this guy All right. Um. Right now, I'm on the 18, 20, 20. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Blah 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 blah. Okay, you can hear that the the mic clearly rejects some of the sound, and it's not as bad as the BM eight hundred. So let's swap to another mic. Um. Just give me a moment. All right. Um. Okay. Right now, the mic that I'm using on my headset is, of course, you know, um. This guy is actually a um, omnidirectional microphone because when I shift this around you know it still sounds the same and it's good for you to anyhow position the mic because it won't change that much as compared to other mics so let's try and plug in this guy Ching -ching. Dun -dun -dun -dun. all right so I'm gonna try this again check 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 hey hey one one two two okay now I have with me um this guy over here uh, which is um, the Zoom ZDM1. So the Zoom ZDM1 is a dynamic microphone. So a dynamic microphone means it's less sensitive. You know, if you put it far away, it's gonna pick up that much. Okay, but the rejection, I think, is hey, check check one two 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 one two. So rejection wise, I guess this is a lot better. But you know, let's go up the game. Although Technica has one of these too, so let's go and try it. Let's mute the mic. Alright, I'm back on to my headset and let's try the Audio Technica version of this. Let's have fun.
All right, so. Okay, wow, there is loud. I'm so sorry if I blasted all your ears. Okay, so this is the Auto Technica AT2040. Um, and let's, let's come on, let's go and give a comparison with this guy and the other Auto Technica, all right? So, so the AT2040 and the AT2020 are like the most popular mics in the market. So let's go and have fun with the two of them. I apparently I can't balance things very well, but okay. So then my mind. All right. So this is this guy, and all right, and this is this guy. Okay. Can you guys? Uh, could you guys hear a difference in the mic, in terms of how it sounds like and everything? Let me know. Drop it in the comments below. I guess I can hear the difference. I think my ears are not forty. Um. Okay. So this is the AT twenty twenty, and now. This is the AT twenty forty. Um. I mean to be honest, right? Uh. Both mics. Have their own usage, have their own tonality. I I guess um, I I don't know. Let me let me know which one you guys actually prefer. But this is the AT twenty forty and and this is the AT twenty twenty. Let me know what you guys feel. All right. So um, the AT twenty twenty is one of the most used microphones in the market. I guess uh, it's something very interesting. Um, that. Why? Why do our people like this? My guess, you know, it's affordable. It looks very really nice, kind of very really nice, right? Okay. Uh, AT twenty forty sounds a bit hot because I'm in a hot room. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, lame joke. Okay, let let us try it again. Let let me set the levels again. Okay. Uh, like. Jiang, think okay, Sean. How how do you find the levels for the AT twenty forty now? I am judging it by visual, okay, because I think visually should be okay. All right, so this is the sound of the AT twenty forty, and it is a dynamic large diaphragm microphone. Same with the zoom. So let's try one two three four. 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 Okay. Um. So this is. The AT twenty forty. Let's compare it with another large diaphragm dynamic mic. Just chop the mate. Hold on. Okay, let me swap this thing to the previous mic, the Zoom, and let's see whether we can have them to sound almost the same. And ah, check check. Okay, alright. Check 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 check. Hey 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 hey. One two less highs on the twenty forty, right? Okay, so right now I have oh actually I like the sound of, the, of this zoom. Okay, hey hey one one two two one two one two wow 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 very interesting ah huh? one two three four five six seven eight. Oh, bang it! 真的 very hard to hold two mics together. Maybe I need hire people to help me hold the mics. Okay, so now this is the zoom one two three four. And then now this is the other technica one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Sean, you you are more trained. You know what do you think of these two microphones? The Zoom versus the other technica. Which do you think you know sounds the best to you? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. Okay, so um, now we have tried the AT twenty twenty. We have tried the AT twenty forty. We have tried the Zoom. We have tried the BM eight hundred. Let me take a look and see what else is available. Okay, so so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna swap the this mic that I'm using. I'm gonna swap it with the most popular handheld mic. Okay, uh. <laughs> I forgot I have this hand string. Okay, all right. So, so yeah. So I'm gonna swap it to this guy. Okay, let's test the lab. Hey, check check check. One one two. Oh my god, hot hot hot. Hey, one two one two one two one two one two. Okay, slightly a lot better. Okay, now guys. Um, so this is the S N fifty eight, which is the most popular handheld mic in the market. Um, can you use it? For your home studio, definitely yes. You know it's gonna block out all the things. I can't even hear the rain now. <laughs> so 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 it actually rejects a lot of the things um in the environment. So this is the SM fifty eight, and let's swap it to another mic. Okay. Uh. So this is the AT twenty forty. AT twenty forty, and then let's go. I think we okay. We are evenly matched on the levels. 
and let's try and see whether the SF58 sounds better. Hey, hey, check, check, one, one, two, two, hey, one, two, hey, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, the sure SF58. This is the, okay, this is the other technical, um, AT2040. Let me drop the gain a bit. All right, now they are evenly matched almost. All right, so this is the sound of the AT2040. This is the, SM58, hey, check, check, one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, hey, hey, one, one, two, two. I guess both of them really sound different. I mean, to be honest, both of them have their own character. But if you are doing, I mean, seriously, if you are, I don't know, man. I, I kind of like the 40 as compared to the 58. So let's go and try 58. All right, and, and this is the sound of the 58. Um... I I guess um the there's some scissor on the twenty forty as compared to this mic. So so I guess personally I might go for the AT twenty forty if it's the same price as the SF fifty eight. Why? For a few reasons. I mean I mean this is this looks like I mean looks wise if you're going to do live stream and stuff, you know, this is your typical karaoke kind of look or your vocal stage vocalist kind of look. It's really I would say, you know, not so impactful as compared to something like this. I mean, I mean, you look like, here you look like a, <laughs> a singer. And now you look like a DJ. I mean, seriously, if you the mic is like kind of going to be like this or like this, I think visually you look a, a bit more appealing, right? Let me know, guys, you know, drop the comments. Let me know how you guys feel, you know, it's always lonely trying to talk over here but i guess this is the 2040 if if given a choice i think i would give i'll i'll, I'll, I'll i like this over the sm58 so off you go all right so 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 i tried quite a few mics the bm800 the 802020 the zoom zm zdm1 the at2020 and then let's up and try other things all right so so I I have with me another got compression. I think there is compression. Um uh, compression might be from the zoom. No wait, wait I okay let me see whether I have any compression on. Alright, so just give me a moment. Okay, let's go to settings. Um let me ah let me off everything that I can find. Let me let me Okay, so so right now, uh, no limiter, no compressions, no nothing. Um, but I guess you know, to me, the the sound of most of the mics, I I kind of like some of the broadcast mics more than the typical SM58. So let's uh, try this. Um, this is the Limelight by Five One Two Audio, and actually it's quite light. You know, it's really quite light compared to this thing. So let's let's give a comparison. Check check one two hey. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. All right. Uh. So guys. Uh. This is the sound of the five one two audio limelight, and I'm now trying to see how this thing sounds like as compared to an Audio Technica AT twenty forty. All right. So this is a five one two limelight. Looks very big. Looks like another mic that we know. Just give me a moment. Let me hold this thing. Okay, so now I'm like, this is the AT2020. Okay, I, I think I have a verdict. I, I think I think the AT2020 is very interesting sounding uh, compared to the limelight. Maybe I just up the gain by a bit. Okay, now I think they are most evenly matched. All right, so this is the AT2040. Check, check, one, one, two, two. And this is the sound of the 512 limelight. Hey, one two, one two, one two, one two. Hey, one two three four, one two three four. This is a five one two audio limelight. And let me go. Let me know in the comments. You know what do you guys prefer? Um, as compared to, do you like the sound of the five one two audio limelight, or you prefer the sound of the audio technica? Hey, check check one one two two. And this is the sound of the audio technica. I mean, price wise, uh, five one two is a bit more expensive really warm wow that's interesting you like warm stuff right i i think i, I like things that with a bit more caesar so chatomate ah. let me sort to the 512 
All right. Hey. So this is the sound of the five one two. Um, check check one one two two, one two one two one two one two. And um, I I guess it's the bad choice for me to use uh gaming headsets for such a such a thing. Um, if I if I use a a more pro headphones, I think it will sound a lot different. I mean, they're all equipped differently. Um, yeah. So the five one two is really really warm. So Sean, which one to refer? No la, you prefer the zoom. Okay. Uh, I mean, I mean, later I'm gonna do a PK. Okay, I'm gonna PK all these large diaphragm content. Um, large diaphragm mics versus the SM7B, which will be coming out very very soon. But just give me a moment. So let me drop the Audio Technica first. Alright. Um, let me remove the Audio Technica. Okay, wait. I just removed five one two. But never mind. Let me put the five one two back. Let me unplug the Audio Technica and. Five five more room on my table. <laughs> okay, you like you like the zoom la. Actually, I I find the zoom very value for money. It's seventy nine US dollars. You gotta be kidding me. It is really really very very. It's quite quite good sounding actually. I like kind of like it. Okay, so um the next kind of mic that I wanna play with would be this guy from Samsung. So let's try. Okay, so Choto, Made Koda Sai, check check. Hey, all right. Uh, so this is the Samsung. This is Samsung mic, and how do you guys find it? One two, three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten, and then. One two three four five six. Oh yeah, yeah. I I understand what you mean already. Okay. So so this is a five one two audio five four two audio five four two audio. This is this is the Samsung Q nine U. Okay, the Samsung Q nine U. I kind of like uh what I have over here because I I like the way that they that they design this thing. Okay, so you know a lot of the the cheaper mic designs don't have something like this. I I think this is actually quite good. You just put this thing on and screw. You know, it's very easy. It's very easy to mount your mic stand. It's not like others you have to. Sc I mean, okay. Let me show you why. Okay, let me put. Okay, let me put this on. This is like a mic stand. I mean, the this is like this is a mic stand. Okay, just hold on. Okay, so um, yeah, welcome back to the headset mic audio. So if you have this guy, you know, you wanna put it on the mic stand. You guys can see it, right? Put it on the mic stand and just screw this thing down. You have the mic mounted on the mic stand nicely. Okay, so so this is a very very good design that Samsung actually has. Okay, why do I find a good design? Because if let's say I unscrew the Samsung, right? It's so easy to unscrew. Just unscrew and get it out. But if you are like using, okay, hold on. Let me put this. What that? Okay, let's say you had the auto technical, right? Wow. And you want to screw it on, you have to do this. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, wait, this is the zoom. Okay, that's my auto technica, it's over here. But the same thing, you know, it's really the same thing. You have to put this thing on and just screw. If you're all cabled, <laughs> if this thing is on the cable, you know, if you're gonna screw this, it's gonna be quite tedious, quite quite stupid. But but I guess you know, um that which is why um this thing is nine nine US dollars and this one is uh, like around one nine nine US dollars heavier you have a yoke like this you know this is so convenient you will have USB which I'm not gonna test but this is so convenient yeah this is why you know this is a good product design I mean Auto Technica is going for 99 US, US dollars I think it's quite affordable I think the sound is quite okay um, but if they could make a better yoke and had the kind of element, I think that'll be a lot more preferred. I think that'll be kind of so much more cool. Uh, the zoom also is at seventy nine, but but I guess it's a bit more expensive. I would pay for that expensive thing because the way they are doing this is like yeah, you can rotate the mic. This is quite okay, but I I guess it's not as you know uh, even it doesn't give me that much confidence because it's so hard to mount something on you know using these kind of things. So the more this thing on, you know, the yeah, the Samsung is quite a good product design with this. 
so when you have something like that and you mod it on just load this and then swap the mic alright and this is the sound of the Samson on the mic stand and this is how I sound like with this mic quite cool right I mean I mean yeah maybe I, I don't know let me know whether you guys you know prefer prefer the sound of this mic <laughs> alright so this is the Samson Q9U which is very very interesting and then now Let's bring on something more fun. Which means I need to unplug this. So just give me a moment. Let me unplug this guy. Let me bring you back to the boring um, headset mic. And here you go. And Chotomate Kodasai. Let me put this thing. Alright. I, I guess. Um, okay. So, so I guess I mislead you guys by, by saying, you know, what mic do you guys really prefer? in the bedroom um, okay there are a few things that you guys need to take note of uh, if you are doing bedroom production or bedroom content creation it's just that um, your mic uh, needs to reject a lot of things in the environment um, the reason today we are having a lot of dynamic mics is because dynamic mics rejects a lot better as compared to condenser later we will pk a uh, top of the line condenser visas a top of the line dynamic mic so the top of the line dynamic mic has to be this guy the sure sm7b that retails at how much does it retail again uh let me check uh the that that mic alone the sure sm7b is around 399 wow 399 us dollars that's a lot of that's very expensive for the mic actually okay so so this guy is going for 399 US dollars but it's the most famous microphone that's been used by a lot of YouTubers a lot of very famous content creators that you see in the market okay he has in fact the other guy that started out this kind of design alright you see this thing over here that allows you to screw it in very nicely it started off by sure they have this thing over here for you to shave you know you have you can loosen this up if you want to um, very robust you know you even have EQ settings from behind you can flatten it or you can do other changes to the EQ so this is a very good robust and smart design by sure so let me screw this thing on and yeah it's screwed on and then let's plug up plug in something yeah let's set something in and let's see how it sounds like so I'm gonna plug in the cable okay the cable of the sure will go in from here all right, and then let's off this mic, and check, check, check. Okay, hey, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. all right, guys. So this is the sound of the Sure SM7B on a Zoom. P4, so I'm using the track 4. Okay, haha, <laughs> sorry to burst your ears again. Alright, so uh, this is the Zoom uh, P4 that is powering everything for the show. Um, now, this is the sound of the show SN7B. Hey, hey, check, check, one, two, one, two. Let's bring back all the dynamic mics that we tried and see how they sound like compared to this guy, to the show SN7B. Alright, so this is the sound of the Shure SN7B, this is the sound of the 512 audio. Alright, 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 alright. So this is the sound of the 512 audio. Check, check, 1122. Two. Check, check, 1122. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, so this is the sound of the 512 audio, this is the Shure. This is the sound of the Shure SN7B, and then. This is the sound of the 512 audio. Let me know which one do you prefer. I mean, this is 199, 199 US dollars versus 399 US dollars, 200 more US dollars. What? You know, what do you think will sound better? All right, so this is SN7B versus 512 the sound of the 512 audio. Hey, hey, 1122, 1122. 1122, 1122. Alright, now let's swap another mic. Let's go down the, the chain and see which one sounds better. I mean, why not, right? Haha. <laughs> so, so I'm going to unplug the 512 audio and 
try other mics that will be interesting sounding. So let's try the Samson and see whether it sounds similar to the Shure. Alright, so this is the Shure SM7B. And then now I'm gonna mute that and then let's try this. Hey, 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 hey. Check. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the sound of the Samson and Samson. This is a Samson Q9U. Samson Q9U. And then let's compare and let's see how. The SN7B compares to the Samson. Alright, so this is the SN7B tone. And then now we're gonna swap to the Samson. Hey, so this is a Samson Q9U. And then this is a Sure SM7B. So let's see which one do you prefer? The Sure SM7B or the Samson Q9U. Alright, so let's swap another mic. Okay, now I am... Oh, okay, so... Now you can hear the rain. Yeah, you can hear the rain now. Okay, so this is the Auto Technica AT2040. And then let's swap. And right now, you're hearing the song, the sound of the Sure SM7B. Sure SM7B visit the Auto Technica AT2040. Hmm, let me know which one do you prefer. And... Let me unplug this guy. Alright, we have tested on the Technica, we've tested quite a few things. Let me try. Okay, let me try the limelight. From Firefox to Audio to see how it compares compared to the legendary Shure SM7B. Alright, so... Okay, so this is the uh, mic check test. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Alright, so you're now hearing the warm the sorry the 512 audio limelight and then let's go to the sn7b and this is the sn7b this is the 512 audio which is 512 audio right now hey hey one one two two wow i mean after comparing you know i think the 512 audio sounds pretty nice too all right so 512 audio limelight visit the sure sm7b Hey hey, one one two two. This is the most famous. The, the I mean I mean this mic, the Shure SN Seven B, is the is world renowned by and used by everybody on YouTube. You know for broadcasting, for game casting, and everything. But let's see how it compares against the limelight. And then now this is the Faldo Audio limelight, and I think the limelight is a lot more cleaner. You know less noisy. No la, Steven, you still need a sound engineer. That's why we got job to do. But I guess in the... No, but I mean, this is a bedroom studio comparison. So so right now, we're comparing the 512 Audio Limelight with uh, the Sure SN7B. So Sure SN7B is going to be up now. SN7B for you. SN7B from the Sure. Hey, hey. And then let's compare other mics, right? I mean, since we're all here, we have so many mics to play around with. And then let's try with the cheapest... Large diaphragm dynamic mic that I have in the room, which is this guy, and then pow. All right, uh, okay, let me up the gain. Wow, not enough gain, not enough gain. All right, uh, so this is the zoom. All right, this is the zoom, uh, ZTM1, and then let's compare with the SM7B, which will be this guy over here. All right, uh, so this is the SM7B, this is the Zoom DM1, which Zoom DM1 will be up right now. So this is a Zoom DM1 versus the very very expensive Sure SM SM7B SM7B Zoom DM1 Zoom DM1 SM7B. I mean to be honest, which one do you guys prefer? I mean, be honest, man. Let me know which one do you guys prefer. Okay, drop it in the comments below. Let me know which one do you guys like. So yeah, that'd be quite cool. Okay, now I'm going to compare another mic. So let me swap this guy. Take it out. And... Alright, uh, of course, this will be a sure. <laughs> sure visit a sure. So which one do you think will sure win? Okay. Alright, so the sure SN7B right now. 
versus the Sure SM58. Wow, wow. This is the Sure SM58 versus the Sure SM7B. Alright, so right now I'm on the Sure SM7B and let's see how it compares against the smaller brother, the Sure SM58. So this is the SM58 and right now you're listening to my voice on the world most popular handheld mic, the Sure SM58. And let's compare back again to the Sure SM7B which is the, which is the world most popular podcasting mic and studio mic and I mean Jeez, this this mic has been used by everybody and anybody and holy cow, you know, everybody has used this mic before. So this is the sound of the legendary SM7B and this is the sound Ah, uh, the DM1. Yeah, actually to be honest, right, I kinda like the DM1. I also like the I also kinda like the limelight. Uh, the light is quite clean actually. I mean it's lighter also, so they don't need so expensive. Don't need the mouth I worry about the mic dropping on you, so it doesn't hurt that much. Um, yeah, I personally I like the DM one, also the DM one, and the uh, Limelight by Five One Two Audio. And then of course you know this is the sound by voice going through the SM Seven B. All right, so let's play around even more. Okay, sorry, yeah, not SM Seven B, SM Fifty Eight. Okay, so so let's let's swap all the mics away and let's go and play around with something else. So, so, nothing will be complete if you didn't pick it, the expensive is the expensive. Correct, so let's hold on. Let me set everything for this mic. Okay, so now we are Cardoid versus Cardoid. Okay, so right now I'm going to compare the... This mic uses a warm audio WA87. Audio A87 is a lot more expensive than SM7B, but let's see how it sounds compared to each other. Alright, so Okay. Hold on. Uh. Alright, check, 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 check. So right now you're hearing to the sure SM7B and I'm gonna set again for the warm audio. Check, check, check. Hey, check, check. One, one, two, two. One, two, one, two. Alright, so, so now this is the sound of the warm audio 87. Hey, check. One, two. Hey, hey. Mic check test. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then now the sound of the SM7B. Hey, mic check test. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, check, check. One, one, two, two. And now the sound of this guy, um, the warm WA87. Let me know whether you can hear the raindrops that is coming out from the windows. And I have a 40 cable, but never mind. Haha. <laughs> okay, so this is the sound of the warm audio 87 WA87. And then let's swap it to the SM7B, which is the most used legendary mic for podcasting and home studios and a lot of other things. Which one do you guys prefer? Let me know guys. Let me go know if you guys are even watching. <laughs> so, okay, so um, today I think it's very, very interesting. I, I kind of like play around with a lot of mics. Um, I, I kind of like took this session to answer, you know, what I really felt was a very, very good home studio mic. I guess uh, after we compare the from the cheapest BM800 to the to the 802020, which is the most used studio, home studio mic, and then now we compare it with the legendary Shure SN7B, which is used by a lot of people for professional broadcasting, um, game casting, and all these kind of things. We compare a whole series of dynamic mics. We even compare this against the WA87, which is a nice clone of the Neumann U87. I think, uh, to be honest, I, I, I really feel that um, there's, there's a lot of of plus points, I guess, in 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 a large diaphragm dynamic mic. Um, you sound slightly bigger. I mean, but of course, you know, all of them sound very very different uh sean feels that the sn7b is similar or the zoom you know zdm1 is similar to the sn7b i guess you know they might i mean zoom might dig some creative r d on that um i i personally in, in terms of preference wise you know if i'm not going to go for the sn7b i kind of like the zoom too I, I think i think the zoom is closest to the sn7b 
Um, another alternative difference would be the limelight. I feel that the limelight from Far From Two Audio is kind of big sounding. Um, it's kind of light also. So, okay. So there are a lot of people who ask, you know, wow, well, you know, some of the cheap microphones are light. You know, why is the limelight also light in terms of weight? I, um, I think there's no. We shouldn't compare. You know, if if its heavier is better, we should compare. If it sounds better, it's better. Um, the limelight is lighter in weight. But the, it's not like the in sound. I, I feel that you know it's a lot, very nice bottom to it. It's so big and warm. Uh, it's very very clean. The electronic is actually very very clean. You know, isolates a lot better compared to other mics. Um, the limelight, which is this guy over here, is actually lighter than all the mics that we have. You know, it feels like a toy. I mean, to be honest, it feels like a toy. It's very very light. But I kind of like the sound. I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting sounding. So, so I guess. Um, this is quite a cool thing. But personally, today I think the MVP for today would go to the Zoom, uh, because at seventy nine dollars, it's cheap. But it doesn't sound cheap, correct? So and and of course you know the the, the vert okay. Let me remove this guy. Okay, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear this thing anymore. I mean, I mean, I mean to be honest, this guy. Um, design wise may not be as cool. I mean, when you put the green screen on, it looks cool, correct? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like a typical broadcast mic. And and to be honest, you know, if let's say Sean, can who is a sound guy, can't really hear much of the difference. Let's try this. And hey, check one two one one two two one two, and this is the sound of the zoom. And this is sound of the sure. I'll go for the zoom. To be honest, uh, okay, okay. One thing about the sure SN seven B. Let's do something interesting. All right. Um, uh, everybody has been telling me that you know when I use a, a sure, I need to use a cloud lifter or dynamite or any other thing. So let's go and try that. All right. Okay. So let's just gonna put the dynamite thing on. And let's see how it goes. Check, check, hey, ha, one, two, three, four, hey, one, two, three, four. Okay, so so I guess um the SN seven B now has changed in terms of of tone. So let's compare this guy as and and the other one. All right, uh, so this is the zoom, and now this is sure. All right, hey, one, two, one, two. One two one two, one two one two. I guess um now the sure sounds a lot cleaner as compared to before, and um it sounds a bit bright. I don't know. Okay, so so what I've done right is that for the sure wise, I actually use uh something like a cloud lifter. Um, this is by Bothon Audio. They um it's called the Bomb. So the Bomb X uh actually gives plus 24 db worth of of gain into the sn7b okay the sn7b design was actually i would say not i would say it's flawed i would say it was not ideal for a lot of home podcasters because our equipment uh when we gain up our equipment there's actually noise so that's why a lot of times when you're actually trying to use a dynamic mic in your home studio you are uh, Highly recommended to have a cloud lifter, a dynamite, a fat head, a bomb, any of these guys that can give the microphone a good plus char plus twenty four dB worth of gain. This is to lift the mic signal above the electronic noise so they don't hear like a lot of hissing stuff and that kind of thing. So you know, point taken is just a cheap, I think ninety nine, sing dollars or even lesser. Um, I mean the bomb is 99 US, 99 sing. The rest of the style like cloud lifter may be around 150 US dollars, you know, 199 US dollars or whatever not. But it does change the tone. I mean, it doesn't change the tone, but it makes you sound better because the signal is cleaner. It's just like you know when you guys on on cameras, you guys, I mean, you guys use metal bones, you guys use all this kind of converters, everything, but. 
but you want to have a very good converter that gives you more magnification but doesn't reduce your picture quality just the same thing yeah so that's what we did yep try the bomb on the zoom all right so let me do that right now okay so um, i'm back to my to this all right so let's try on the zoom okay so jing jing. wow very big sounding difference huh? okay uh sean are you happy with the sound of the zoom right now Actually, to be honest, I'll, <laughs> I am very happy with the sound of the zoom with the bomb, actually. Yeah, you know. um, okay, okay, when you bring this on, if you get to travel and you bring this on, please be careful, okay? You know, if it says dynamite, it says bomb, please be careful, alright? But, yeah, hey, it sounds very interesting, right? Okay, okay, so, so Sean, uh, this is a very good suggestion. I, I think I kind of like it even more with the bomb on the zoom zdm1 so so let's go and try this on other mics all right so um you know sean has sparked this i'm gonna try the dynamite on all the mics that i have yeah okay so right now let's hear this okay wow wow whoa whoa way too hot way 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 too hot 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 okay so the 512 audio limelight with the bomb um yeah you know um this is very interesting very interesting sounding i i think um yeah you know hell I, i'm gonna try this on i on on the other mics now i mean like let's try this on all the technica too as you sean I, I think to be honest right what's the signal is gained up by the bomb the the mics do sound a lot cleaner and a lot more open and everything so let's gonna try all right um yeah hey now the at sounds a lot more interesting very very interesting hey you no know, uh this is this is a bomb it's not a dynamite but if you want to let me try a dynamite i'll be more than more than happy to let you guys you know to compare the difference between these two but i i think yeah, you know, having additional gain on any dynamic mic does make it sound a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot more interesting. So Sean, you know, very good suggestion, man. Um, yeah, too bad there's no giveaway. If there's a giveaway, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I think you are, of course, you are like the MPB. Um, if let me check, you know, whether 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 um Bahon can give you a bomb. Okay, I mean, I mean, like like this product called a bomb, not really the actual bomb, but. Yeah, hey, wow. Or oh, you ask Colin O to give you one, uh, and then you all can compare. All right, so this is very, very interesting. Um, of course, you know, having an external gain. Um, okay, so so having something like a bomb or a dynamic or a cloud lifter or this will increase and improve the sound of your dynamic mics. So, you know, if you guys are doing like podcasting and stuff, get more of this. Very important. All right. I mean, they also sound good for ASMR. Let's compare the there is sound called ASMR. I mean, I mean seriously, I, I I really like you know how the sound change you know on a very good dynamic mic with this. So let's gonna try this on the world most famous handheld mic and let's see whether there's any good change to it. Uh okay, come let's try. Hello, hello. Wow. Okay, SF58 sounds still sounds perfect, but never mind. Okay, check check one one two two one two one two one two one two one two. I mean, it sounds clean. I mean, I mean, you don't really hear a lot of hissing and stuff, a kind of thing. But I, I guess, mm, maybe not my cup of tea on the SF58. But let's go and try on other mics. Okay, which other mics do I have? I have tons of other mics. Um, let's go and try on this guy, which I never showed you guys before. And oh wow, very very clean, very 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 clean. Um, so this is like a a ribbon mic from Bear Dynamic. It's already out of production. The M two sixty. Uh, very 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 clean sounding right now with the bomb. I guess um yeah, it's very very interesting sounding. You know what 
this red color thing, ah, you can you can see it. This thing, the bomb, you know, can add in in terms of cleaning, making you sound better. Okay, so so the takeaway from today, you know, this five minutes away from everything. So I'm gonna end the section by by saying this. Okay, I mean, we today we are blessed in a certain sense. Uh, we we have rain, we have fan, we have the SM fifty seven. So the SM fifty eight. The SM7B, we have mics from, with a courtesy of City Music, they loaned me the Zoom, the Auto Technica, the, the 512 Audio, even the Shures, they are all loaned to me for this session. It's very, very nice. Yes, I like ribbons. Ribbons are very, very nice. Um, Okay, so a lot of people would, would, would feel, okay, so the takeaway from this session is that, you know, I mean, if you are really going to invest on microphones and stuff, you know, um, and you have really no budget, you know, and you want to get one of these, Maybe not is noisy and it's just bright. <laughs> it's just bright. Okay, just bright sounding. Um but you know if you really want to sound very very clean, you know, get um maybe you can get a zoom Z D M one, you know, pair it together with all of this and bam, you're good to go. You know, you, you sound clean, you know, you don't sound noisy anymore. Just now we did a test with the SM seven B but and all the rest of the mics without any gain uh, additional gain from these devices and you know we had noise coming in I mean we had electronic noise coming in and all these kind of things so the the key thing is you know if you want to have very clean signal you want to be broadcasting you know want to be nice and clean and smooth sounding you know get one of these you can get the bomb you can get the dynamite you know though both are very nice sounding devices all right um and then plug it into your preferred broadcast mic. I think the MVP for the day. Uh, I need a seventy three clone. Haha, <laughs> you go and clone yourself, bro. Haha. <laughs> okay, but but yeah, you know. I guess today, you know, I I guess everybody will feel will do agree that the Zoom ZDM one is the MVP MVP of the day. Uh, let me see whether I can get you guys some discount. If you guys are from Singapore, let me know. Uh, they are available at City Music. Uh, most of the mics that I demo, except for the Bill Dynamic, can be bought at at City Music. You know, they they are, they can most likely give you very good service and very good discount. So yeah, you know, uh, drop me drop me some comments. Let me know uh what you feel. But I think today's MVP. Let me get the MVP back. Okay, uh, MVP is not this one, but MVP of the day. It's not the sure, but this guy, yeah, the Zoom ZDM1 is the MVP for today because it's the most affordable and sounds nice for the price. Right, so yeah, my name is Jeff, you know, welcome to my channel, you know, I'm also known as Pratas, not as Jeff, not as Jeff, not as Jin. But then call me Pratas, you know, call me PZ, whatever. But today we are, we just you know tested a whole shitload of microphones and yeah, let's have fun for the next session. Let me know what you guys want to see. Drop in the comments on the on this live. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and let's have fun. All right. So see you next time. Good night. Stay safe. Omicron is rising. Okay, wait. Jotomate. Let me try to find my end live cruiser. So. Good night everybody, see you guys, bye bye.